Now, independent Senator Kirsten Sinema is taking heat for leaving the Democrat Party, but those attacks are nothing new. Remember when activists followed her into the bathroom to yell at her? We need solutions in the Build Back Better plan. We have the solutions that we need. We knocked on doors for you to get you elected, and just how we got you elected, we can get you out of office if you don't support what you promised us. I'm a survivor of human trafficking, and it's because of the lack of worker protections that we don't have in the gig economy. And liberals went off when they heard Cinema ditch the Democrats, AOC, tweeting, people deserve more. A GQ writer with, she would be so much happier running a burlesque-themed knitting store. <laughs> and former MSNBC host Keith Oberman writing, you are ethically unfit to continue serving as a United States senator. Uh, I always love women supporting women, and Keith <laughs> Oberman is always just uh, detested in my book. But I want to go to you on this one, Jason, because you know Kirsten Cinema. You served yeah. with her. Yeah. Now, this was interesting to me that she chose to change to an independent, but a lot of folks on both sides of the aisle are saying she did this to escape what would be a difficult Democrat primary challenger, and she kind of did this as a cop-out. Do you think this was a politically sound strategy for a senator coming from a purple state like Arizona? Is this going to work out for her? Well, look, I did serve with her in the House of Representatives. I, personally, I get along with her wonderfully. I think she truly is independent-minded, and I think that does play well, actually, in Arizona. But I think more than ever, this seat now will go to Republicans in two years because Democrats can't resist it. They're, they lurch so far to the left. They're almost unrecognizable to the general public. They feel the candidate is a Democrat. She runs as an independent. And guess what? That splits the vote, and a Republican can then go in and win that majority. I don't think she can be reelected as an independent with a Democrat on the ballot in Arizona. I don't think that would happen. And Harris, you spent some time with her as well in a much different political time in 2016, speaking to her and talking to her about what she plans to do. Did you get the sense from her that she was a solid Democrat or was she more independent? You know, liberals right now are saying she's a Republican. She acts like a Republican. They've completely wow. written her off. <laughs> they, they don't like her because they couldn't control her. Right. And they don't have a lot of love for Manchin either of West Virginia, who's also independent minded yeah. at times. Yeah. He didn't get what he wanted from the so-called Inflation Reduction Act, so it's getting ugly. But I don't think you're going to see him pull this dance move. This is specific to her. And yes, back in late 2015, early 2016, 538 uh, group looked at her and said she voted in line with what would be Trump policies north of 50 percent, close to 60 percent right. of the time. So this is something that she's been doing all along, being independent on certain issues. It works in Arizona for this reason. Yeah. Arizona has a lot of Californians that have moved in now. All those U-Haul trucks right. that California can't get back. <laughs> and because of that, yeah. right? And because of that, she is going to have to be different. She, she didn't do enough at the border. She did some. So, but she did more than, I mean, Mark Kelly, the, the Democrat who ran for Senate, had to be dragged down there. I mean, right. yeah. the, the polls had to show that it was time. So she does have the ability to run that. That way, I, I agree with Jason. I think the seat goes to a Republican if it's up against her. I don't think the Democrats are going to pour money behind her. I don't think so either, but I think that this is a strong move to say, I'm not ride or die Democrat. Do you yeah. know, I know that you are a view watcher. I know that you watch it. I know that you watch it weekdays. Every day. So you're familiar with this clip. But just in case those of you out there don't watch the view, let's take a listen. And I want to get view watcher Gianno's uh, take on the other side. <laughs> This party has nothing. They have nothing. No platform, nothing. They're, 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 all they do is hang out with Nazis and uh, white supremacists. <laughs> the other party actually is doing something for people like us. Mm -hmm. They're working families, for gay yeah. people, for voting rights. And then she's like, what should I do? What's bizarre is that, you know, Democrats voted for a Democrat. And, mm -hmm. and they didn't vote for an independent. So for her to now say, this is always who I've been, well, she should have said that from the beginning. I don't think just changing her title or her party yeah. is going to make a voter say, oh, They're great, still you're, not you're like now her. one of so, Gianno, on The View, yeah. I'm not a watcher, but I do see clips here You've been and there. on it. You've been you know, on it. I have been on The View. I love the ladies. You know, Joy and I are besties. I'm seeing her later. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, hallucinating you know, right now. Yeah. <laughs> women supporting women, right. but now they're saying, Kirsten Cinema. you know, it's okay if we follow you into the bathroom. It's okay if we intimidate you. Keith Olbermann saying that you are politically unfit, right. morally right. unfit. They turn on her on a dime. 
Is this the Democrat Party that rides or dies with each other? Well, this is a progressive activist, and mm -hmm. hats off to them because they'll run off an elected official that they actually need in their party. They'll run off Democratic voters. And if Republicans were serious about winning, they should hire progressive activists that are going to go harass <laughs> Democrats because they're not woke enough. This is where we've come to in America, and it's such a shame that folks cannot uh, give their viewpoint, have some independence from their party. I'm a conservative. But if conservatives do something that I don't like or moves away from that particular ideology, I may not support them or I'll call them out. That's where we should be as a country. But they want somebody that's going to be married to the Democratic Party and do whatever Joe Biden says. And that's the wrong move. I appreciate her leaving. And I think Joe Manchin should leave as well. She's also said she's not committed to voting for Joe in 2024. So Kirsten Cinema is going to be the wild card. We love to see it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.